fishing we will go, fishing we will go. Hi ho the very oh, fishing we will go. Swimming we will go. A swimming we will go. Soon, Mrs. Harris? Couldn't read past the first page of either of them. I'm sorry. What else is it that's new? Something like that uh, uh, Middleburg Memoirs book. Well, there's Middleburg Memoirs Revisited. A sequel? I think so. Those sequels are never as good. Well, let's see if we have a copy. Oh, don't bother, dear. I'm always disappointed in sequels. Well, maybe this time you won't be. Here we are. You wait right here and I'll get it for you. Oh, please don't bother, dear. I don't get any pleasure out of reading anymore, anyhow. Nobody gets any pleasure out of reading anymore. No pleasure out of anything anymore. Right out here on the bookmobile. No pleasure. No more. Settle down, baby. 
do as I tell you. I don't want to have to hurt you. <laughs> Easy now. I mean, this is not what you think it is. Well, I haven't got all day, dear. I have my doctor's appointment, too. Now. Now. Now go out and take care of her. And come back. Please. Please. You scare me. Mrs. Harris? We do not have that book. I'm so sorry. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Won't you even get out and look at it? What's to look at? It's a trailer on wheels full of books. Man, that's a mobile library. Yeah? Yeah, that's what the sign says. Mobile library, it says. All right. How are you today, Mr. Case? Do you think Mr. Richards will show up today? He isn't here yet. Well, if he doesn't show up today, you're going to have to start charging me rent around here. Um, and Mr. Richards isn't here. He isn't here yet. Um, you can wait for him. Not here. Wait inside. Is there something wrong with me, Miss Brown, or aren't you feeling well today? Wait inside. Please. I never saw a mobile library truck before. The whole idea of taking a trailer full of books out in the back roads and giving some farm kids a whack of the stuff inside is kind of exciting to me. All right. You get us jobs on this traveling culture wagon, I'll go along with you because I believe in it and I know it's the right thing to do. But, buddy, I'll never forgive you. What's bugging you? Well, I don't know. Well, where does it say I have to wake up early and cheerful every morning of every day, raring to be Johnny on the job? Today, I'd just like to go somewhere and lie on the sand. Just lie there, not caring. Like some mean old dead fish. Mm. You that tired? Tired, bored, restless? I don't know, maybe mad. Who cares? I just want to lie on the sand. Well, sure. How about a barrel of beer and a blonde or two draped around your neck? Okay, how about it? Get out of here now, or I'm going to call the police. Hey. Hey, what is it with that police stuff on each other? I told you, this might not be what you think it is. I don't like to be scared. Now, what are you doing here, and who are you, and why do you want to act so crazy to scare me? I'm upset. I'm very upset. Help me. I'm in trouble. What kind of trouble? Exactly what kind, please? Well, it's a, it's a secret. It's a secret and kind of official, so I can't tell you. Government business? Maybe. Anyway, you better cooperate with me. Do you expect me to believe that? Do I look that dumb? No, sir, I certainly will not. I don't know who you are or what your trouble is. And you scare me. You stupid little broad. Who I am, what I am, is none of your lousy business. Now, look, you find some place to hide me here, and you get me some dry clothes, or I'll...
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just skip all that noise. I'm sorry. Forget it, okay? Help me. Because I'm a human being. Help me because I'm a live human being asking help from another alive human being. That's all. Just for that. Help me. Help me. Mr. Richards will be here in a minute. And Betty's due. <laughs> Mister, this is the Daytona Public Library of Volusia County. <laughs> Just answer yes or no. Is there anything going on around here? Anything you want to tell me or someone? He's Mr. Richards now. Morning, Lucy. Mr. Richards, this is the Mr. Case I was telling you about. Oh, yes. Uh, I couldn't do that. I couldn't make it work at all. No how. She, uh... Our regular man's coming back in two weeks, and my people here, well, they wouldn't give me another red penny in additional appropriation. Uh, I did try. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, too. Thanks. Hey, would you like a suggestion on how to get uh, more people in here? Oh, yes. Well, put in a bar with color television. This is my friend. Uh, we travel together. Right now, I'm not sure why. Come on, boy, crack down on yourself. This character isn't you. I'm entitled to one pleasurable, rotten, nasty day, huh? Well, there's something going on in that library, something with that girl. Didn't you feel she was in some kind of panic? Everybody's in panic. It's in the air. You breathe enough of it, it gets into your blood and your bones. Well, let's take off, buddy. Let's bury ourselves in the hot sand and bake it out. Yeah, sure. Well, things are rough all over. See ya. I, I thought I explained. I'm just browsing. Oh, oh, fine, fine. went last night and I'm not asking sure you are what's going on nothing 
Did you see Mr. Richards? You scared silly about something. If I do seem upset, I'm sorry if I do. I don't know you. You came here yesterday, you sat around all day. You came here today, I don't know you. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. It's kind of you to concern yourself. I'm all right. I'm doing just fine now. Well, the way you looked at me before, you scared me. I'm just fine, really. Well, hello there. Sugar, I'm going to need your lunch hour as well as mine today. I've got me an appointment at the hairdresser. Fine. Thanks. and a shirt. They have to be put back, though. You didn't call the cops? They belong to Hugh Smith and they have to be returned. It's uh, very sweet of you that you didn't call the cops. Very sweet or dumb or scared. Huh? Or what? What, huh? I would appreciate it if y'all would return those clothes when you can. Oh, yeah. Hugh yeah. Smith will be back in about two weeks. And they ought to be in his locker. He goes out with the mobile unit and he needs to have at least one change of clothes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll return him, I swear. At London and clean like they are now, please. Yeah, absolutely. And who should I turn them to uh, when I have laundered and clean like they are now, huh? You asked me to help you. I'm trying to help. Now, whatever you think about me dumb or scared or whatever i would appreciate it if you would return those clothes laundered and clean you can send them parcel post to lucy brown 1034 barra street daytona florida that's uh, you huh yes sir that's me little honey child lucy brown me Hey, uh, you can turn around now. Well, uh, what should I do with these? Just, well, put them here. I'll, I'll get rid of them. Would you please leave now? Please. Okay. All right, all right, okay, I'll go. I'll be glad to go. I'll go anywhere you say. Tell me where to go. Mister, I don't care. Why didn't you call the cops? I don't know. I just didn't. I need money. How much you got? About three dollars. I'll get it for you. Three dollars? I need more than three dollars. Don't you have a savings account or something, you know? That's, that's the kind of money I need. You can't ask me for that. You can't. You do have a boat or somewhere, huh? How much you got? Mister, I'm about to scream. You scream and I'll kill you. I'm sorry I helped you. I'm sorry I even tried. Listen, you helped me because you was scared not to, right? Sure, there's nothing like a little fear to uh, bring out the goodness in people's little old hearts, huh? You see, I should have called the police. I will now. You send those clothes back to me. To whom? 
And where? To me. Joe. Joe who? And where? To Joe. Little old Lollapalooza Joe. To Joe. Little old no good for nothing, no account, never gonna be nothing. Joe! Skip all that malarkey, huh? Sorry, I'm sorry. Since we're friends now, huh? Hey, wait a minute. This is the stock room. Well, maybe I can help you if you'll tell me what you're looking for. Just looking. Do you uh, like to read a lot? Lucy? Be right there. Honey, put some coffee on. Sure enough. Come on. Good luck. Hey. You're an angel. You're a sweetheart. Nice girl. Real nice girl. Being in essence, you studying to be a philosopher? I thought you were a detective. I thought you were my buddy. I am. Well, then I'll be a philosopher. What'd you come back for? To see if you were ready to leave. The answer is no. You ready to listen? Do I have a choice? I know what's bugging me. I just don't like being honest about it. See, I'm sick and tired of other people's problems. Sick of feeling responsible and tired of feeling guilty. The whole thing is one long, unbroken chain. Right now, all I want to be is a missing link. Is uh, this a public library where a person may come to sit and read? You go to the bank, and I'll watch the store. Be nice to Joe. Shay. Thanks. <laughs> I'd like to spit in your eye. I think you're bothering Miss Brown. Well, uh, well now, well, sir, um, uh, why? Who are you? Oh, he's a new kind of detective. He solves cases that don't exist, and then he invents a case. Who are you? The missing link. He 
needed help. Dry clothes. He didn't do me any harm. He promised to send the clothes back. Do you know him? No. I just hope he's not in too much trouble. Why didn't he go away? He said he has to have money. And he's sitting there waiting for you to give him money? I can't believe he's serious. You don't just go up to a person you don't even know and say, go to the bank and get me all your money. Most likely he's in some kind of trouble. Did he threaten you? He said some things I'm sure he didn't mean. I hope he didn't mean. I wouldn't appreciate it if you called the police or anything like that. All right, put them on and let's go. All I want is a shave, a shower, a steak with potatoes and for my poor mother never to find out. She told you my story, what's yours? Come on. I'm not a cop, just a committee of one to send you happily on your way. Oh. Bye, all! Rich, you're out of work actors, huh? Get in. Where to? Who knows? We're gonna join the Peace Corps. Large steak, rare or medium? Medium rare. How do you want your potatoes? Uh, mash it. In the bar in 20 minutes, please. Yep. Look, okay, what do you guys really do for a living? Us? We're the highest paid migratory workers in the world. Shall we go? No, no, no. Doctor, do good. Maybe your friend would like an after dinner cordial. Well, hello there. Shake. Now, you are really going to spin your eye. Check, please. What's that? Oboe money? All right, don't take it. Here, Lulu Belt. You buy your mama your papa's harmonica. Last lap to the edge of town and don't come back. Hey, hey, let, let me drive, will you? Come on, please, let me drive. I gotta say I drove along Daytona Beach. I gotta leave St. Huh? Come on, please, what are you saying? I'll be careful. All right with you? Drive, sure, why not? Give him the car. friend doesn't like me. He wants me out of town. Thinks he has a good reason. Okay. For you, what's yours? I'm sorry. Today I don't need a reason. You don't care if I live or die, right? Have it your way.
good for Joe again sometime, huh? Out of town. That way. Miami Beach. Lots of people, noise. Ever been to a dog track? Yeah. Watch those dogs skid around the turns. Well, it's hard not to skid around the turns. You know, sometimes those dogs yip and yip like they really had a chance to catch that rabbit. There's some of the tracks they put muzzles on the dogs to keep them from yipping so much. Sometimes it makes people uncomfortable. Well, I think it's worse with the muzzles on. I'm glad I wasn't born a dog. Better a dog than a missing link. Why don't we go back to the library and tell that girl she doesn't have anything to worry about? There aren't any. What? Missing links. just committed a crime, which maybe was my fault, maybe not. Okay? Okay, now? I didn't ask you. Yeah, but it won't hurt you to know. Now, look, you will spend your whole life in this dull, miserable little town, like some kind of peep peep canary in a library cage, and what will you learn? Now, I'm trying to tell you something. Thank you kindly. And don't you pass judgment on me. Pass it on yourself. Maybe you'd like to give your little old left pinky to be where I've been, to see what I've seen. Maybe you'd do what I've done, huh? I would. But it won't ever happen. Nothing is ever going to happen. Because you're scared, not of me, just something happening. And that's why you'll spend your whole life in this little town waiting, waiting for what? For some handsome actor to jump out of that TV screen and come and make love to you before your mother comes in to see if the lights are out? For some drugstore clerk to make a pass at you in the local drive-in movie? What are you waiting for? I might not be as scared as you think, Joe. Joe Paris, if that's your real name. It's better than my real name. I don't have a real name, so it's better. Because I made it up. You an orphan or something? Better than that. My mother and father, they were orphans. Me, I'm a nothing. But it's something made nothing. You hate your mother and father? In New York, everybody hates their mothers and fathers. I think so. I think in Chicago, too. What do you like to do? For laughs, I mean, you know what? Nothing special. Go out with somebody you like who likes you. Dance. Have a drink, maybe. Talk nice, you know. You, uh, got a guy like that? No, I don't. Well, if I were to live here, would you like to do that with me? Yes. With a character like me? Oh, yes. You are much more exciting than you care to take the responsibility for.
What stuff? Well, it's, uh, it's what makes the world go round. And so does a barrel of pickles. You can't answer a simple question. Love is what you learn to hate people for, never giving. Nobody trusts it. Nobody believes it. If I say to you, I hate you, you believe that. You wouldn't question me at all. But if I say, I love you, well, you run home and have five discussions with your mother, and then you come back to me and you say, what did you mean by that? And where is the marriage certificate to prove it? I could give love. I think I could. Especially to someone who needed it so much. Like you. If I could get out of this jam, I would like for us to see more of each other. I really mean that. You're just telling me that to soften me up, aren't you? No, I'm saying it because I'm an idiot. Well, then don't say it. Don't say anything. I didn't ask you to commit a crime. I didn't ask you to come here and scare me or make all kinds of trouble for me. I do have money in the bank. I have $642. You can have it. You don't have to lie about anything or promise anything. You don't even have to scare it out of me. You can have it, all of it. No more questions asked. I'll come back for you. I'll find some way to come back for you. I am a nice girl. I really am. Looking boy, one of those up north looking types. Well, he was in here, and then these other two, they come in and they took him away. Well, they were strangers too, but they were more uh, respectable looking. I might even consider going out with their tops. But then the other one, that up north looking type, he come back in here and he just sort of grabbed Lucy and he pulled her right into the old section. And I thought to myself, well, good for her if she's got herself a man. I mean, Oh, Lucy, she don't have too many chances. But then, when the other two, they came back in here, and they looked everywhere and couldn't find them. And I decided I'd better call you, Cheryl. Now, Betty, describe this up north fella. Well, he was... John, you know, we get all types in here, and we treat everybody, everybody, with equal respect. Well, what do he look like? Today, it's hard to tell who's who. Beatnik or Billy Goat. Rich dress poor, the poor dress rich. I don't know. Can you describe it? Well, he was obviously a neurotic. Oh, five foot ten or eleven, dark brown, wavy hair, wiry, tough jaw, and he had wet shoes on.
Give me Lieutenant Harris. Man about 28, 5 foot 10, brown wavy hair. This man is wanted in connection with the deaths of Mr. and Mrs. Charles Hendrickson of Trenton, New Jersey. The bodies of this couple were found today in the waters off Jacksonville. It is now established that they went out this morning in a boat piloted by the wanted man. Six twenty, six forty, six forty one, and six forty two. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Brown, please. We've been all over town looking for you, and then I remembered about the money. I'm in a hurry. Are you meeting Joe? Yes. Did you draw it all out? Yes, all of it. Listen, miss, you don't have to be frightened anymore. The police are looking for him. You called the police? No, they called from the library. He's wanted on suspicion of murder. That is not true. It is not true. Well, we just heard it on the radio. Whatever is suspected is just too bad. I don't suspect him. I have my own personal opinion, if you don't mind. Tell the police where he is, Miss Brown. And don't feel sorry for him, please. He could be dangerous. May I go now? Look, Miss, we can't just let you go meet him. No matter what he's promised you, no matter what he's told you. Why is it? After 28 years, when something wonderful and exciting happens to me, everybody wants to stop it. You have no right. All right, we'll take you there and we'll wait for you. even hold out half, could you? When you get back, I'll have to think of a way to introduce you to my folks. We have to do that when you get back. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Look, I am not coming back. It's all right if you send for me. I can manage that way, too. Whatever you think is the best way. Goodbye, Lucy. Goodbye, Joe. Joe Paris. I am not sending for you. You are never going to see me again. I lied for the money. Oh, you knew that, didn't you? You knew that's what I wanted. Okay, you had to believe me for a while, but, but deep down in your heart, you knew. You knew I'd rat out on you, didn't you? Didn't you? You're not that stinking good. No one is. Goodbye, honey child. I didn't ask you what you did. They say on the radio the police are looking for you, but I didn't ask. What are you going to ask now? No. Why? Because I don't want you to be hurt anymore. Because I want to be with you go with you, take care of you, and I know I can make you very happy, because I told you, I am a very, very nice girl. Who 
in his right mind means a nice girl. Presentation. Herbert B. Leonard, executive producer.